just the way everything came down, came down with getting able, being able to play. And then you just go to the goal, it puts in my head. What, what's tonight like for you? Yeah, it feels great. Uh, first of all, uh, to get the start and finish the 90 minutes and help the team get the win. It means a lot to me. They, these guys uh, put up quite a good fight with you guys as well. I mean, what were you guys expecting coming down here? Yeah, we knew that these guys would give it their all. I mean, it's a, it's a cup game. It means a lot to them. and It's a good environment. Our fans were great the whole night. And, and they had a lot of fans out there themselves, so yeah, they gave they gave it a good fight. It was a tough game. Yeah, they, they, they got some talent. Yeah, I mean, th this level is not a bad level. So no, it's not. Yeah, it just shows that the sport is growing all over the country, and all the tiers are getting better as as, uh, as, as the top tier. Well, and to, to play with the first team here because that's obviously you know what you're looking to do you know more permanently. Right. Um, just to have the opportunity and go through it. What, what, what is it like going into that and um, you know dealing with the players? Any advice they might give you? Things like that. Yeah, I mean I've been training with them here and there, so I'm getting more comfortable in the environment and, and uh, starting to show in my level right now, which is at the second team, that, that uh, we can really move guys up from that level and it's, the gap is getting closer. It feels like that's how, like uh, the ability to do so is maybe a little better with Greg, who has a history in the music academy. Right, yeah. Um, he, he also brought in a new coach for our second team who's been really good with us. He's been able to relate to us really well and it's been good for all of our development. When did you find out you were getting called up? I signed the, the four-day loan uh, late last week. So I knew, and then I had a game with the second team on Saturday, and then uh, I was training with the first team this week. So I didn't know I was on the roster until yesterday, and I didn't know I was starting until today. So it was a bit surprising. When you, heard, when you got the word that, oh, I'm, I've got to start, what, what, what goes through your head? Yeah. What's the excitement like? I mean, that's that's got to be a cool thing. Yeah, it's exciting for sure. I mean, I'm confident in my ability, so I know I can come out here and, and just do what I've been doing my whole life. So. Uh, and the goal itself, we have no replay. It's hard to see anything out there. Take us through it. Yeah, I don't know how the ball got to our right side, but it fell to Efra. And then uh, I just made a run from out to in on the far post, and he has great vision. He picked me out like it was no problem, and I just started it home. Thank you. It's their work rate, their commitment, their defensive effort. Again, uh, they worked hard to get behind the ball, and the big hit up top was a great outlet for them. I mean, every time that we felt like we could sustain some pressure on him, they could get one up in his area, and he was strong and laid down balls. and competed for everything, so it was, uh, they, they put us to work tonight for sure, which uh, I'm going to give them a lot of credit. Well, given your time in the youth game, did you know Don Eber? Yeah, yeah. I knew Don, he, yeah. He, yeah. I mean, yeah, he's been uh, down here doing his thing for a long time, so yeah, I knew Don and Dan Kalichman and Nick Dozloff, everybody in our staff has known Don, yeah, so he does a nice job. Is, is this a, a good building block for you guys, knowing how difficult this game was? I mean, this wasn't simply running somebody over. This wasn't a walk in the park. No, it was useful. It was, it was for sure useful for guys that uh, you know needed some good competitive minutes and push their fitness and push their work rate. Uh, had to work for every chance that we had tonight. Um, you know, some on the attacking side, we were, we were able to work a little bit on some of our rotations and, and combinations. I thought we were able to get to the end line and a lot, but we didn't really connect from the end line to whatever was into the box to get clear chances. So again, they had great density in front of the goal. They blocked a lot of things that, that uh, we put across the face of the goal. And so, but it, it was a it was an opportunity for guys to to be challenged tonight, and that was still great. I know. Whenever you guys played the Open Cup on a Tuesday night, you were less concerned about giving guys. Uh, yeah. Minutes. Uh, you're on a Wednesday night, and you have a home game against Dallas coming up on Saturday. Was was there some concern there? Yeah, I mean, I was. We were trying to not push. Obviously, a lot of guys aren't even here tonight. Uh, they're here, but they were watching the game. But um, any for those guys that were short turnaround, who were managing this or that or whatever, we just didn't want to risk. And then um, obviously, with Marky's put in a huge shift, this we we at the end figured we didn't hopefully need to use him and. Ryan came in and gave us some good minutes. Uh, Ephra and Jules probably went longer than I was hoping they would have to, but they're young; they'll turn around fast, you know. Uh, so, and, every, and everybody else, my kind of my anticipation was they were going to give a, a full shift on the night. So, we were, these games are always tricky, and uh, you have to be prepared to to adjust or to come up with something sometimes. And they gave us, gave us a good run. What do you think of uh, Owen's play? And obviously, the goal that he scored. Yeah, I thought he I thought he grew into the game as it started to progress. That you know, little 
maybe a little conservative and early on just getting his, his feet wet in the game. But I thought in the second half, he started to be a little more aggressive. It's not super natural for him to be on the left side either. He's more on the right side. So I think he had to get a little bit more comfortable uh, being on the left. But I thought as, as the game progressed, he started to to give us more in the attacking side, to add another number into that attack. And I thought he, like I said, I thought he really grew into the game. I had a good night. You said supernatural. I started seeing the ghost. Yeah, yeah, well. <laughs> <laughs> um, you, uh, you, you had two up front in the first half, and um, I'm wondering what you saw out of that. And they, they were really packing the box defensively. Was going away from them in the second half a, a little bit about that, but kind of opened up some space? Yeah, we went through it for it with, I don't know, for maybe 30 minutes or so in the first half just to see if, uh, you know, the two of them could really move the center backs and, and maybe create some more opportunity through the lines or in front of the goal. Uh, and I think we were get, having a lot of opportunity off of that. Um, you know, Sam's not always a traditional forward, so the connection of their running wasn't necessarily always in sync. It was a little bit individual at times. So, uh, I didn't think it was it was hugely valuable, so I got Sam into his more natural position. I let Efron go back into kind of playmaking and, uh, and get Johnny. I think he, Johnny to me prefers to. I think he does a nice job on that right side. So it was getting him a little bit more in their natural position to see if that could, could unlock something. So. No, 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 no. <laughs> uh, getting two goals um, and, and obviously playing in a game like this which was, it seemed like a pretty difficult game overall when you, you get it. What, what does that do for your confidence? Where, where are you at right now? Yeah, for sure. It was a very, very hard game, very tough game. They're a very good team. Uh, of course, we won. Uh, I'm very happy because we're in the next phase. I scored two goals. I helped my team with my two goals. but. Uh, Sasha helped me a lot because he gave me to shoot these penalties. He's a true leader and he's like my second dad here. So I can just say thank you to him. He's kind of like a coach on the field, isn't he? Of course, he's a true leader and he's like 36 years old and he's every day sho showing how you need to train, how you need to do everything. So he's an amazing person and an amazing guy. I'm enjoying it. What about the connections on offense? Uh, Greg said you guys had a little trouble in the first half, sort of creating that final ball. Are you guys, start, and that's the same even which, whichever lineup is being played right now. Do you feel like stuff is starting to be developed there? Is the you guys getting closer on offense? I think that we should finish this game in the first half. We played too slow, which was a little bit dry, and but I think that we should finish this game in the first half. But at the end, we are in the next phase. That's the most yeah. important. That this team is able to play you so competitively kind of speaks to you know American soccer is a little deeper perhaps than a lot of people know. Yeah, many many people are not. Um, they don't know how is uh, the football here because now I know I didn't. I thought that this league is not that strong, but when I came here I, I saw that there's a many, many good players and I think that this league is very good, especially for the young players. Mm -hmm. Wonderful. Yeah. Thank, Thank you so much. Thank you so much. All the best.